Hey guys, uh, sorry about the delay in this video. I thought Project 6 was this week. It was last week. I should have had this video out to you already, so apologize for the lateness. Um, but Project 2 was in Module 5. It's due, I think, like December 13-ish, um, the week before finals. Um, so ag again, you have a document. It's in Module 5. I'm going to do a quick run through about this. Okay, so hopefully it'll answer maybe some of your quick questions. First things first, what you have to turn in just a Word document. Um, you're going to need to use Excel in this project, but I don't need to see any of that because the questions ask about the Excel. So you're just going to tell me the formulas. You'll type them out in your paper um, so I don't need to actually see Excel. So you're only turning in a Word document. Okay, so here's the basis of this project. You are going to compare your dream job to that of a high school graduate. So you're gonna to have to do some research, go online, find out, let's say you wanna be a nurse. What is the median salary for a nurse, right? I don't know, maybe it's $70,000, I don't know. Um, so you compare that and you can see here, high school graduate of 23,000. Sorry, my computer's not working much, but $23,000 there. You're gonna use that for everything. So everything you do is comparing those two pieces, okay? So you'll use Excel, you're gonna use the PVFV and the PMT formulas that you used from your workbook. So if you're not really sure what to do with this, hopefully you watched all those videos that went with your workbook because those are the formulas you're going to need. All right, notice how this says minimum of three sentences. I need real sentences, none of this yes, no bullshit, right? You have to actually say what you're gonna say. And then go through, you can see everything is numbered. There are bullets answer every question. There are not a bunch of bullets, which means every one of them is a lot of points. Okay, so notice this first one. You're just going to explain what job you chose. I want to be a nurse. I'm going to make $70,000 a year. And then you're going to use absolute and relative change. If you don't remember what those are, go back to your workbook and figure it out. Um, so make sure that you're using both of those because you get those points. Then you go to the mortgage. Now, remember, Mortgages are, you pay those 12 months a year. Just gonna throw that out there. Um, they give you an APR, they give you the 30 years. You plan on spending 32% of your monthly gross income. So you're gonna take your overall. So that 70,000 if you're a nurse that I just made up, that's not the real number. You're gonna divide that by 12, that's your monthly gross. Then you multiply by 32%. That tells you how much you want to spend per month on your mortgage. Okay, that's your basic. Then you're going to use Excel to figure out the present value, PV function, all right? You're doing this for you and the high school graduate. Notice then you need an absolute and relative change statement. Great, let's go to the retirement. Um, retirement is future value. You're gonna have to use the FV function. 38 years, 7% of your monthly income. Again, 70,000, right? I'm again using 70,000 as a nurse. Divide that by 12 to put it into monthly, then multiply by 7%. That's how much you're going to invest in your retirement, okay? So that's kind of the basis. And then you can use your questions again. And again, you and the high school graduate, we're doing a comparison here. Then we go to the salary increase. This is exponential growth because of the percent change. You don't know what I mean. Go back to your workbook and find your exponential growth, okay? Um, you can use Excel or you can just use a calculator for this uh, and you can go from there, okay? There is an activity in your workbook that talks about <clears throat> number five, the difference between a percent increase um, for talking about like relative change versus an absolute change, which one is better and why. That's the part from part five. Okay, so that's kind of a quick down and dirty of what you're gonna do here. Um, hopefully that'll at least get you started. If you have questions, of course, shoot them to me in an email. Um, now that I am home from my travels, I should be on top of things. My goal is to catch up on grading in the next 24 hours, and we will be uh, good to go here with exam two this week and project two. Let me know if you have questions. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.